Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Nostalgic Runner, and we are back for um, I would call this this is just a content update or just kind of like a highlight of how things have been. Um, I will get back onto the wagon of doing the Get Fit With Me series presents accountability. I'm going to put a little bit of that in this in the beginning, and I'm also going to go over how things have been because as you can tell, this did not come out on Monday. It came out on Juneteenth, and by the way, happy Juneteenth. And um, yeah, so I kind of want to go over um, how I celebrated, if I celebrated. Oh, I mean, of course I celebrated. Duh. <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah, that goes without saying. But what I ended up doing, and yeah, how things have been. So first of all, let's go into the Gift of Me series, Business Accountability. So for those who've been following my journey, I am still training for my ultra. Um, I have a long run this weekend and running this week has been extremely rough because it's been in the 90s here in the city. Like it's gotten up to the 90s. So in the morning, it's already in the 80s. Um, I ran on Monday and I ran six miles and I felt like I was dying. <laughs> and because it was already like 84 degrees outside. And this was like at 7 in the morning. Yeah. Um, so tomorrow is going to be the first day we're going to get a little bit of a cool down. It's going to be, I think it's supposed to be high of 89, which that's still really hot. So I'm going to end up running three miles. I'm going to run first thing in the morning before work and continue with that. But that's, um, I do have another long run this week. I'm supposed to run 16. I'm already ran 14, not this past week, but last week. I actually ran it on a Monday. Um, I had too many things going on the weekend where it wasn't going to make sense for me to run on the weekend. And also, too, because I was going out with some friends. <sighs> with the long runs, especially the older you get, especially the older you get, you need to make sure you're hydrated, especially in this type of weather. So... Um, because I had a night out last or two Saturdays ago, I was at a celebration of life festivity. It did not make sense for me to do the run the next day. So I did it on a Monday, I actually took time off and did it. And I felt amazing. Um, which is the opposite of how I felt this past Monday, this past Monday with the long run, <laughs> my ankle is bothering me again so I actually did bite the bullet finally and um, I went to the doctor this morning um, on Juneteenth so the day of Juneteenth I did go to the doctor finally and I have a couple things going on it wasn't just ankle I have something else going on that I'm not gonna say yet because I just don't want to freak myself out I just kind of want to see what happens and then go from there but um, so I got a couple things checked out and I scheduled some follow-up appointments to um get um to see a sports medicine person for basically physical therapy potentially depending on what's going on with the ankle because the ankle still isn't 100 percent and um i don't want to continue it to just feel the way it feels but i thought it was feeling better prior to this month this run this past monday and I don't know if the heat just made it worse, but it's weird because the week before I ran 14, no issues. Um, and I've been getting it worked on through massage therapy, but it's still really, really not okay. So um, I know it was probably a bad spring, but it's kind of like, you know, I did that in April and now we're almost, we're in the middle of June, so... And I know I've been running, so I know that may not be helping, but hopefully we'll get some physical therapy and we'll get it figured out. We'll go from there. So I finally did bite that bullet and did that. Um, and then the other thing I have going on, I've been having pain. Um, I've been having stomach pains, and I don't know where that's coming from. Um, I'm pretty sure it's my gallbladder. <laughs> and um, But I don't. I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I'm almost positive is my gallbladder um, because it feels like a side stitch, but worse. And it's around the area where I would get a side stitch at. And it probably has a lot to do with just running in the heat and everything like that. Like I've had a couple of bouts where I've ran in extreme weather and just tested my body to the limit. So, 
And lately, I've been somewhat eating not the healthiest. So maybe I had these issues and didn't know. But now since I'm not eating healthy, when I sneeze, I get sharp pings here and there. And it's just kind of like, so okay, I lied. I basically explained what's happening. So I'm getting that looked at too. I'm gonna, I actually schedule an ultrasound to figure that out as well. So between those things, <laughs> I decided on Juneteenth I was going to handle business and work on my health <laughs> pretty much. Um, that was one of the things I did. So kind of tied to the Get Fit With Me series, but also tied to, you know, taking care of yourself. So besides that, my running has went well. I've been consistent on my running. I actually, so originally I was only going to be doing four times a week of running versus five. I'm still only doing the four times a week of the running, but the extra day that was supposed to be the five, it was supposed to be four miles. I'm actually now splitting that up where I'm doing a two-mile walk twice a week, so I still get the miles in. So that's my way around it, and I'm starting to try, I'm trying to slowly, gradually get myself back to the way I was before, while I'm also still trying to figure out what's going on with my ankle, um, because to me, and this might be not the right move, I don't feel like I'm making it worse. The problem is it's not getting better. <laughs> and um, yeah, I guess depending on what the results are and what's being had or what's being said, um, I'm going to kind of go business as usual and continue just doing the, getting the massages, you know, icing, you know, foot baths we're going to continue that and then do the running so I've been consistent on the running um I still haven't been to the back to the gym yet but I did also add cycling to my routine so I'm actually back at with the cycling so we're at the two disciplines I need to add back in and the next week we're going to add the swimming back um I knew I was supposed to start the swimming a couple weeks ago but the other thing I also decided is that I'm not doing the um Chicago super sprint triathlon Fitness wise, I just, I'm not there yet. And I really want to mainly focus on getting back to my routines and also making sure I have a decent half marathon in September and then the 50K in October. To me, that's the priority. I do have another triathlon I'm doing. It's the same one I do every year. We're going to continue that. So I am going to definitely still get swimming in. It's just, I'm not going to go as intense with it. Um, because the other thing I've been trying to be very, very conscientious, very much in tune with is not overtraining because your girl has a horrible tendency of doing that and pushing her body to limit. I mean, you just heard me talk about how I'm handling my ankle. Like a typical person would just be like, okay, I'm just going to wait till my ankle feels better, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, but I am finally getting it looked at just because it's been too long and, I had all this time off, so I was like, let's do that. Because, by the way, I took Monday and Tuesday off, and then Juneteenth was on a Wednesday um, this year. Side note. So, let me know how you guys feel about this. I was in the lift yesterday, because I was in the, um, it's kind of in, I was in River West. Yeah, I was in River West. Um kind of in the river walk so I don't know if that's really river rest anyway I was over in that area I was in the west loop slash river west for those who are from Chicago if you know you know west of the loop like I was in that Cindy. and um so I was meeting a friend for dinner and drinks and um so because I was gonna be late and she was already there I was like crap I gotta take a lift because I actually drove to the place I was at originally, but my car was already parked, already paid for the parking ahead of time. I didn't want to move it, I have to pay for parking again. Because anywhere, once you're in the downtown area of Chicago, you're paying for parking. So if you already have a parking spot that you already have paid for, you better just leave your car there and just figure it out another way, figure out another way of getting there. And for me, the lift was the quickest way because I didn't want her to wait too long. And so I did, and <laughs> not only did the lift driver almost kill me, and I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating at all. He ran a red light and like, I'm, I almost got, almost got sideswiped. A little T-boned actually. Not even sideswiped. I almost got T-boned because he ran, a, tried to run a red light and it would have been on my side where on the left, because he was making left-hand turn and the light was green 
And then he tried to lie and say that it, it you know, it just turned at this time. And I was like, I can see you driving. <laughs> but I didn't want to say anything else because before that, the Lyft driver asked me about what is Juneteenth. And I don't, I guess at the time before he almost killed me, it didn't bother me to explain it. But the more I thought about it, and he wasn't, he was not, he was not, he was, he was not from the Caucasus Mountains, so he was not a white person. Um, but not from the United States originally, I'm, I'm assuming. And this is me assuming, so that's probably not the best thing. But not from the culture, clearly. But if you're a Lyft driver, you have a phone. If you have a phone, you have Google. You don't need to wait till you are in the car with a black person to ask them what Juneteenth is. I'm just saying. I told him what it was and he felt really weird about it. And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know what else you want me to say. He's like, oh, so well, you, you don't celebrate Independence Day? I'm like, no, because we weren't free. <laughs> like, I mean, I did when I was a little kid before I knew better, but when you know better, you do better. I don't really celebrate 4th of July like that. Like, I go to the beach, but that's about it. I take advantage of it being a free day. And maybe watch fireworks, and that's about it. But it was just annoying that that, 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 that like, like, say something. Um, and also, too, if you already have your life in my hands, I mean, if my life is already in your hands driving me around, I don't want to be a dick and be like, Google it. But after he almost killed me, I really wanted to say, Google it. <laughs> um, let me know how y'all feel about that. Um, I don't think I'm being rude. It's just kind of one of those things where it's like, okay, I know it's new for you, but it's been a thing the whole entire time. It's just we, as in the United States, wasn't celebrating it. And really, the rest of the country wasn't celebrating it. I'm pretty sure Galveston, Texas, where this was, ha where this happened at, and areas of Texas, I would assume they were celebrating Juneteenth already. I I'm pretty sure they were actually, because it is a significant day. Because, I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's just like I just feel like people need to start reading books again, <laughs> or like if you're not gonna read, just Google it. It's there. It is there. You can get a quick breakdown of what it is. Anyway. So I'm off my soapbox on that. But anyway, so how did my um, long weekend go? I actually did a lot, but not a lot all at the same time, if that makes any sense. I did some detail cleaning in my apartment. <clears throat> I also um, finally cleaned out my closet. My closets and like, um, like, so I have extra bags. So I'm going to donate because I have clothes to get rid of that I can donate. Um, so I did that finally. So my next step for, because 4th of July is coming up soon. So I'm going to have a long weekend with that. A four day weekend with that. So I'm going, the next project is I'm going to clean out like my safe and shred things and all that good stuff because I've never gotten around to doing that. And I still have, like, my old work stuff I need to get rid of um, that I need to, like, shred and all that. So, um, actually, no, no, no. Cancel that. I think I actually, because I am coming, I'm actually going back home soon. Um, I know some people who still work at my old company. I'm probably going to, like, see if they want this stuff because it's, like, a lot of it's just, like, procedures and whatnot. But some is relevant. Some, a lot of it isn't, though. But a lot of it is. So I think it'll be helpful. So I think I'm going to go ahead and bring that back and see what people want to do with that. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so besides the cleaning of my apartment, extended cleaning, got me got the meal prepping done. So even though I went out to eat and stuff yesterday, um, I didn't really have to because I had meal prep ready to go. But I'm kind of meal prepping all the way until Tuesday evening because then I'm going back you know, I'm going to go back home um, for a little bit. 
and I have someone who's coming to the house to watch things and watch my cats and all that good stuff. So there's that. Um, yeah. Um, but anyway, besides that, um, today on Juneteenth, I mentioned I went to the doctor. And then the other thing I did was I, oh, one thing I also did do besides meal prepping, I finally made some cold brew because I don't know why I haven't been making cold brew, but man, that stuff be working. <laughs> um, I don't think I made it super strong this time, but I think I'm going to try to make it a little bit stronger next time around, but it, it, it's doing what it needs to do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to definitely do that again. Um, so I have some cold brew that I made that I've been kind of just taking advantage of. The other thing that I did besides go to doctor day, I went to the beach finally. Actually, it was like my second time at the beach. I, for those who don't know, summer months, I'm a beach bum. I just go to the beach. And I was only going to be there for an hour today because, again, it was like in the 90s. And I wasn't in a party mode because another thing is because whatever is going off, potentially my gallbladder, it's, it's not a good idea for me to be doing the most um, <laughs> until I figure out what's going on with that. So there's that. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing that. Um, so I went to the beach. That was fun. And then the other thing I did, because there was a couple other things I could have did today. I was thinking about either going to um, the African American Museum in the city, because um, they had an event going on. They had a lot of events going on for Juneteenth. Um, the other thing I was thinking about possibly doing was um, there was a couple bike rides that, that went on for Juneteenth. Um, the Major Taylors had a bike ride like over like the south side. And then... Um, the streets is watching, like cycling group in the city. They had something at like ten thirty in the morning, and <clears throat> I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it because my ankle was actually seriously still kind of bothering me. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna actually make this a rest day. So we didn't really, other than walking a little bit, I didn't do too much. Um, and then there was an event that um, wasn't Juneteenth related, but. Um, a running group that I'm part of, um, they actually had a beer running event, like walking distance. And I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not, I, I need to like not drink for a little bit. So I didn't. So, um, yeah, anyway, so that's what happened there. Um, but let's get to why the other reason why I'm doing this video. Spoiler alert, if you haven't um, gotten the chance to see um, the Kendrick Lamar show, because I believe um, the concert is available for you to stream it and watch it over and over again on Amazon Prime. Um, I watched the live version, but there were other surprises that I did not mention in the video. So check it out yourself if you want to see those things. So for those who've been following the Drake and Kendrick beef, Kendrick Lamar actually had a concert in Inglewood, California, so L.A. area, on Juneteenth. And it was called Ken and Friends. And clearly, I'm in the city, so I did not go to L.A. or Inglewood. But I found out probably two or three days ago um, that he was streaming it. <laughs> So I watched the whole entire thing and it just, it just, it just got done. Um, and I was lit. <laughs> I thought I was there. I pretended I was there and his friends were friends. They were pretty significant. Like he has a lot of local, um, California artists that I'm not as familiar with cause it's not my region. So I mean, I'm not going to know as many people over there, but then he also had, YG, DJ Mustard was clearly there because of the song. They're not like us. Like, he was there. Um, that So, the set before that um, was a lot of more local people. And there are songs that I was familiar with and kind of knew the songs, but I didn't know who they, I didn't know who the artists were, per se. But, um, and this is before Kendrick Hills got on stage. So before Kendra got on stage, then DJ Mustard had this set. And the stat set, he had the people there. That's when you started seeing the people. So YG, um, so YG did some of his hits. Um, Ty Dolla Sign, 
Um, some of the songs he DJ Mustard did on his own because not all the artists were there like he did, you know. Um, I don't fuck with you. You little stupid ass. I don't fuck with you. He did that song. He also did... Um, uh, I don't know why. Oh, these ain't loyal. Is he? These hoes ain't loyal. Yeah, yeah. He, so he did. He did. Um, Chris Brown too. So I mean, he did some of the hits where, you know, those are, some of those artists weren't there. But then also besides YG. Ty Dolla Sign being there, Rod, Roddy, Ronnie Rich was there, um, Steve Lacey, I was not expecting to see him, but he was there, and then I about screamed, Tyler the Creator was there too, I was like, oh yes, he got Tyler the Creator, um, that is a show I would like to see, I would like to see a Tyler Creator show, because... I'm really, really late to the party of liking Tyler the, Tyler the Creator. I used to find him very annoying when he first came out. Like, because he was really obnoxious and stuff. Because he had, like, a show on MTV2 or something like that back in the day. And I found him super annoying. But now, and I, I did go back in his catalog. I was like, oh, no, they're dope. And I'm also into all of, like, the people that are from that group. Like, the Odd Future group. So, um, I do, like, except for not really... I love some of um, Frank Ocean stuff, but he's not like my favorite. But like Ben Staples, I know he doesn't really claim to be part of that group, but he's still kind of part of that group a little bit. Um, Earl Sweatshirt, um, the internet, you know, Sid. Yeah, that whole crew. I was late to the party, and now that's kind of my jam. Like, because they're kind of like alternative hip hop and alternative like R&B. Um, cause that's kind of like, I don't know. I like more like eccentric sounding stuff these days, but anyway, so besides Tyler, the creator, um, mustard had an awesome set. That was good. And then the boogeyman, AKA K dot, AKA Kung Fu Kenny, Kendrick Lamar hit that stage and man, did he hit that stage. And it was a good, 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 good show. He did, um, he started with Euphoria. And he did kind of mess it up a little bit, but we forgave him. It was probably, his, I mean, it definitely was probably his first time performing it. You know what I mean? Live. Because it just came out. So, well, yeah. So, he kind of messed it up, but then he recovered and, and fixed it. It was no big deal. Because, I mean, he's a professional. He's a professional. Um, but he did, um... A lot of his greatest hits, Swimming Pool, um, you know, stuff from Section 8, um, Good Kid, Mad City, uh, a couple songs from Damn. Because after he did Euphoria, then he did DNA. And I, for those who know, well, a lot of y'all probably don't know, but DNA is one of my favorite Kendrick Lamar songs, period. I actually listen to that every time I'm at the gym. That's like... What pumps me up is that song, DNA. Like, that is the one for me. For me. For me. Um, he didn't do anything from um, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. He didn't do anything from that. Um, and then he did all the diss songs minus Meet the Grams. Because <laughs> that was not the vibe for this place. But he did do, like, a verse from um, oh, the Time Stamp one he did. He did a verse from that. Um but Euphoria, that hit. That hit. And I didn't realize that I knew the whole entire words of the song until he, he did it. And I was like, wow, I know the, I know the words. words." <laughs> but I work out to that song a lot. That's actually, out of all the diss songs, it's actually my favorite one. Um, unpopular opinion. But Euphoria is my favorite one. That's the one that I run to and work out with. If I want to get to the finish line, I just put on Euphoria and I'm gone. <laughs> That's the one. But um, also, he had, um, he also did um, this song where he has um, J-Rock. So J-Rock was on stage, and J-Rock did um, two of his songs. He did win, 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 win. And he's like, um, and then the other song, um, well, this thing with that new, new, 
Because I did that. I did that. Like he did that song. To say what you want. To say what you want. What you want. Like he did that song. The one that's off the Black Panther soundtrack. Um, and then. Um, As Solo was on, on stage. And then. I felt really, really slow. Because I knew the song. But I did not recognize him. Because I'm so used to Schoolboy Q with facial hair. So with him without the face hair, I did not know that was Schoolboy Q at first. I was on stage. <laughs> so he did the he did um collar greens because I love that school that that album of school Schoolboy Q. That's the one. And then he also did that part. Oh my gosh! And I was jamming. I was jamming. And then also he did have Dr. So Dr. Dre made an appearance. So he did um so he did a couple of his songs. Um. I always feel weird whenever I'm like bumping to Dr. Dre stuff because of, you know, his DV stuff that he never really atoned for. Um, but I'll be honest, like in a messed up way, it's like, uh, I compartmentalize it sometimes. I wish I didn't, but maybe because I didn't know all that about him growing up listening to that music and then I found out way later on it's hard for me to you know men in black it um so anyway he did so Dr. Dre was on stage and Dr. Dre was gassed like he did two songs and he was gassed um cause he's still kinda like spoiled or whatever it's just kinda weird but anyway um yeah but and then of course Kendrick ended with their, oh, they're not like us. He ended with that. Clearly. You wouldn't know how many times he did that song. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> he did that song five times. I was like, he's like, from the top. From the top. And what was cool at the very end when he did do that, though, because he did have everyone come back on stage. That was like Ken, his friends. And it was a moment for them. He was like, I want like so he had everyone take pictures. And he was like, this is a big deal because I mean, it's L.A. So pretty much everyone that's like an artist, whether you're an artist or not. If you're from the areas of LA, you're gang affiliated. Whether I mean, you didn't have a choice. Like you're you're gang affiliated, you know, one way or one way or the other. You may not be actively in the gang, but you're affiliated somehow, some way. And so, at the very end, he had everyone take a picture. He's like, "This is a big deal. We have all the LA gangs out here, and we're on stage, and there's no issues. It was peace. We worked together." And this was the really the end goal was to bring us all together. I mean, a lot of people have died from, you know, street stuff and music stuff. And he's not wrong. Oh, also, too, they did do a tribute for Nipsey Hussle, of course. Um, also did um, Dr. Dre did California Love, of course, because of Tupac. So, yeah, it was good. It was very, very good. And Nipsey Hussle, that one hit the hardest because I actually went... Um, that was the first time I actually went to L.A. was the year that um, Nipsey Hussle passed away. And I was so upset about the situation because I was just getting into his music and he was gone. Like, I was so late to the party with that. Like, and, the, and, and, and that, it was just sad. Um, I actually did drove by, I did drive by Slauson, but I just drove by. Because I, I don't know the hood like that. And I was not going to try to go to the hood to, like, you know... As a woman being by themselves, there's no way. I'm not driving to a hood that I'm not familiar with and taking pictures or any of that because I'm, I mean, common sense, right? But I did drive past it and kept it pushing and saw the murals and whatnot um, when I was there um, back in 2019 because that is when he passed away. But anyway, I, I was actually jamming when they were doing the Nipsey Hustle tribute because I know all his music now. Like, I went unfortunately after he passed away i went back and listened to all stuff and i had the music banging the whole entire time i was in la when i was there so there's that but anyway <laughs> overall it was a very very good 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 um concert um it was definitely um i'm happy for la that was a good concert and because it's you know 
central time, or not central time, but specific time, they're, they were out of there by 8 o'clock. Because I was, I mean, this, it was over with at 10, my time, not central time. So, but yeah, it was a really good show. Um, I did enjoy watching it. Um, and it's on, for those, I don't know if they're going to have a replay or not, but the live stream was on Amazon Prime. So if you do have Amazon Prime, definitely feel free to go back and watch it. I don't know if it's on anything else. I saw it was on YouTube, but that was not, that this definitely was the bootleg version. I have Amazon Prime. I wanted to watch like the actual production, so I watched Amazon Prime. Um, so if you have Amazon Prime, you could just watch it. Um, I, again, or you could have just watched it because I don't know if it's gonna have if it's gonna be there. I would assume you could go back and watch it because it was it was streaming at the time. So I watched it live. I watched it was happening. Um, but anyway, so that's why I decided to do on Juneteenth. By the way. That was my Juneteenth thing because I really wanted to somehow, I wanted to be part of that, <laughs> even though I knew I wasn't going to be able to go to L.A. and like, you know, watch that. And Kendrick Lamar is kind of one of my favorite rappers of today that I listen to. Like, even before this rap beef, out of the um, three, the big three, you want to say, I listen to Kendrick Lamar more. I honestly do. I listen to a lot more Drake singles, but albums, body of work, I was always a Kendrick Lamar girl. Um, Pimp, a, Pimp a Butterfly is what is when I entered the chat. <laughs> and I went back and listened to Section 8 and Good Kid Mad City. And then also some of his like, you know, mixtape or sing singles that he has. Um, because I guess Section 8 is kind, kind of somewhat a mixtape, I would say. Um, but then Damn was clearly the one for me. That was like, um, that was my favorite favorite. Um, <laughs> I actually used to run to that song a lot. Um, Humble, the song Humble, by the way. Um, but DNA is like still my favorite song. I still I still play that one regularly. Um, and then I was one of the few that actually liked Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Like, I actually did not mind that album. It... Is replay value wise, you kind of need to. You don't play that when you're in your best spirits. It's kind of the only thing about it. Like you gotta be in a certain mood for that. Um, but I did appreciate and like the album, so that's me on there. But anyway, good show. If you guys get a chance to watch it, I don't think I spoiled everything for you. I probably shouldn't have mentioned the friends part. But uh, maybe I'll put um, a spoiler alert at the beginning so that if you do not want to know who all the friends are to watch it, definitely check out, um, check it out. It was good. It was entertaining. I was entertained. <laughs> it's definitely entertained. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've done. Um, I have to work tomorrow. I have to work Friday. And actually I have to work Saturday at my first... Saturday thing I gotta do. Um, I made the fatal mistake of checking my email today, and I should not have done that because they had a question for me, and I'm a little nervous about what the question was because I have PTSD from my last job still, <laughs> and I really should not have checked my email. That's the lesson there too. But anyway, um, I'm hoping I get back to the regularly scheduled program when it comes to get filled with me series prisons accountability. Um, I'm trying to, um, it's just, I'm also trying to really, it's, it's hard to do this and then focus on my training and focus on making sure that I'm doing everything I need to do for my training and along with all the other life stuff I got going on. So, um, anyway, that does conclude the video. Um, I guess you will, you're still going to get something once a week from me. Um, Mid-July, I think July 17th is when the Real Housewives OC comes back on. So I'm going to be reviewing that. Um, are any of y'all watching Real Housewives of Dubai? I still haven't watched a single episode. And I feel bad because I, I guess I don't feel bad. I, I don't know. I just never got into the first season. So I'm kind of just not really interested in watching it now. And also, too, again, 
the main focus is a focus. But anyway, I'm rambling. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to discuss. If there's any other shows you think you may, maybe you want me to review, look at and review. I have all the different services, so I could kind of watch anything. You just need to just let me know ahead of time. Um, but at the same time, keep in mind, I am also trying to train. And I'm not going to be doing too much watching of material. Because, again, the focus is to really get my training back up to par and from there. But anyway... Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel and Nostalgic Runner, and I will see you next time. Bye.